Hello, citizens. Got an interesting video today. Maybe the future of power, electricity. Right before your very eyes, and I've been following this story for years now. This person's been able to use a real-world model of Tesla's 369 math to create a device that produces a collapsing magnetic field and therefore ambient electricity. We'll see in this video he's well on the way perhaps to perpetual motion. Let's take a look. 12 volt input feeding into the POE vortex coil 432. It's a motor battery charging configuration that also produces a back EMF collapse so you have a little bit of light as the byproduct it's collapsing into a neon bulb and then the surplus power is fed into a charged battery which is linked to the run battery in the center and shares a mutual ground so in essence the idea here is for the back emf collapse to do what it does dissipate some of the residual power because obviously it's too much voltage at 60 volts to go straight into 24 volts so it's doing something first and then charging across 24 volts So, over four and a half hours, and still it's, I started at 23.9 volts, and there's no, no change at all. It is staying the same. If it were... over 100% efficient, I would imagine that that would be charging. So if this is 100% efficient, that would stay the same. If it's a little less than 100% efficient, we might see that that drops a day, two days from now. But I've never seen this before. I've never seen a steady voltage for this period of time using it's there is a circulation there there's a work being done and there is a little bit of extra light as the byproduct so there should be a number dropping on the right there and there's there not even a millivolt is changing Nikola Tesla was talking about three six and nine the power of three, six, and nine, if we only knew. If we only knew. Well, I don't know, maybe we're learning. Maybe it can create a new standard. Maybe um, people see it and they say, you know what? All of them should be like that. All of the coils should be like that. Then the machinery and the infrastructure comes about to make it a reality. This was originally a dual transistor circuit and I did not see this same functionality. I stripped away one of the transistors and tried using the third conductor for a pickup. And here we have success. So this is a diagram of Tesla's vortex math. And I thought if you just add another line between 7 and 2, it starts to look very similar to the seal of Saturn. Of course, the seal of Saturn is also 
associated with the seal of Solomon, which is associated with the Star of David. And so it was this depiction of the Star of David that sort of reminded me of alternating current, maybe, if, if there's a way to maybe have opposing vortex coils intertwined. I don't know. I'm not a physicist or an electrician. I don't know much about any of this type of stuff, but I am an intuit. I am that. And so I plugged in PoE vortex coil 432 into four Gematria ciphers, got a bunch of numbers. Uh, government agency schoolboy error came up a couple times. The world within, get all kinds of stuff. President George W. Bush, Bill Nye the Science Guy, Toronto shooting, Jewish frequency, British invasion, 20th of March, all kinds of stuff. Like the fifth pawn day five that led me to this Gematria video. Hydrocortisone that I had to use as a baby, the dragon S, whatever. <laughs> now here's the interesting one. It was this, but palindromic, so the same forward as backwards. I wasn't getting anything when I searched for this, for with it like as a palindrome. But every time I erased the first part of the palindrome after I copy pasted it. This thing, what this bracket would be left there. I don't know why I did it twice. You know, whenever I do gematria, I'm always sort of just, as I said, trying to intuit or letting the universe take control. So since that happened twice, I thought, let's search it. Let's see what I get. And I get this specific page in a book called A Course in Mathematical Methods for Physicists. Okay. derivation of the curl form so I searched for it and went to Wikipedia and curl mathematics is a model of how things will behave in a liquid and of course we know that Tesla always envisioned electricity as a liquid so we have here like the right hand rule, bunch of equations. I have no idea what they mean. I only took math to grade 10. But it's, it's an interesting read and yeah, it seems like it's uh, the vector field. So how things will be affected by a curved force or, and so of course the vortex coil is curved and has something to do with liquid or electricity so thought that was interesting other stuff that came up was the Wahin disaster often in gematria I'll come up with gematria terms like reverse trigonal this person uh, Renato Shimoshio and now there's so many so you're not you're obviously not going to search all of these so how I do it is I just wait until certain ones pop out at me and say oh that's that's the important one let's let's see what it says and so this person when I googled them nothing much came up except for this imported articles of brass I don't know copper brass connection there Century link, link field, Seattle. I don't know, what if what if we had a vortex coil the size of this and $430 million to build it? I don't know. Could that power the entire planet? Another name I got was Ray, Ryan Grady Quinn, who is a mechanical engineer. I don't know, maybe you want to get Mr. Quinn's input on this he might have some ideas i've contacted the the people from daniel nunez or 
One Stop Energies for an interview. So we'll see what he has to say about all this Gematria stuff and the Star David if he wants to come on. I'd love to have a chat. Stay strong, citizens.